Hey everybody, and welcome to another unboxing video. Uh, today I'm going to be unboxing from McFarland Toys, the Kickstarter Spawn, the classic edition, and this is going to be an autographed edition. I got this in, I think, uh, probably a couple of weeks ago, maybe a week ago. I've been waiting to unbox this, but I wanted to make a video of me unboxing it to show you guys what you get. And yeah, so it's here. Let's go ahead and get started. As you can see, the box it's got everything printed on it. It's got this tape on it that shows that if the, the tape is uh, broken, then the seal's broken. And then, you know, you got to check the contents to make sure everything is in there. That's good. But seal is in place. So I think everything should be good. So let's go ahead and get into this box. Open it up. Oops. All right, sorry about the shadows right now. All right. All right, got the outer package open and looks like there's an inner package too. So let's get this thing out of here. This way you guys get to, ooh. All right, well, got the outer package off. Get that out of the way. Let's get everything situated again. This came with some uh, corner protection, so that's cool. On all the corners, get that out of the way. All right, got that. Go ahead and get the inner package open. Packaging is real good. It looks like it's been protected very well. Uh, you know, there's a lot of videos. McFarland did a lot of videos, a lot of updates saying how he's going to package these things, ship them, make sure they're protected well. Because, you know, he takes his, his business seriously. Uh, he's trying to satisfy the customer, so... Oh, one second, drop my light. All right, getting into the inner package. All right. Let me just go ahead and show you this. It's got some uh, protection on it. Let me get a better view of this. So we got some paper protection, help from protect it from scratches. Let's go ahead and just get it out of this box. Cardboard on each side. And let's take a look at it, see what we got. Very cool. All right, so we got it out of the boxes, both sets of boxes. Very cool, we got the spawn name with the foil down at the bottom. Let's turn it around some, take a look at it. Uh, it got 1994 to 2021 right there. Showing you the length of spawn. Other side of the box looks blank. Got the spawn seal or his symbol right there. Same as on the bottom. Take a look at that. And then this is the outer slip cover. Take that off. Try to protect that. Oh, whoops. Let me show you another the other side. Just the other side. But you got the foil spawn in foil. Pretty nice. Looks like he put a lot of effort. And if you watch his update videos, he was trying to give a lot of cool stuff with this. Uh, put a lot of effort into it. Like, he's, like I said, he's about customer satisfaction. So go ahead and open this up. 
got another inner box got some paperwork okay all right this gives a list of all the stuff with the original 1994 spawn what was included the height which is 5.5 inches this one is seven inches it's got a whole bunch of articulation compared to the original the different weapons chains cape the comic book this actually comes with the comic book uh it's a rese resealable clamshell which is cool so you can put it back in the box if you're not going to display it and a whole bunch of accessories and this one does have the signature on it get this little masterworks certificate of authenticity very cool i don't know if that's his actual signature or just a facsimile or something but very cool all right let's get more into it pull that Ooh, very nice very nice there we go first we got the this is the autograph he did the og the original um versions in red i think uh, the other ones were like red and or green and forget the other colors that they came in but that's a cool little name plate that goes on the bottom wherever you're going to display it at that okay let's see you got the spawn head oops see so you got plastic i'll show these accessories in a little bit but i'm going to get this the figure out nice foam casing on the inside to protect the figure A second, I might have to fast forward this part to get this out safely. All right, got it out pretty safely. Had a, a few things fall out. Got this uh, weapon fell out right here, and that, that was all up here. And then his head that's a interchangeable head with, uh, with the unmasked version. And then let's see, pull this forward. There it is. You also got some of the plasma stuff that goes along with him on his hands. Some more stuff in here. Uh, I don't know if you can see it or not, but some more plasma stuff in there. Fully unbox this later. Just making sure to take good care of it. There it is. Record breaking comic spawn posable action figure. Flying cape swing it up uh, let's go ahead and look at this closely i'll take it out of the box in a little or the out of the clamshell in a little bit so we can take a closer look at it but you also got the the comic book inside so right now i'm gonna pause this video oh before i do that here's just a little comparison size comparison this is a spawn uh the classic covers um series 25 so you can see it's a little bit bigger, but still, yeah, that's, that is definitely so cool. All right, I'm going to pause this and uh, I'm going to relocate this. Be right back. All right, so I got them out of the box, got them out of the clamshell. Took a little bit to get them out of the plastic. Just a few things keeping them strapped down. Uh, just a couple. It wasn't really that hard, but took a little while for me to get to them. Just wanted to be careful with the figure. But yeah, that's a good look at him. Let's take a look at the accessories first. He like said he's got the sword. Cool sword, a lot of detail on that. He's got his gun. Check that out. Both sides. Let's see, focus. There we go. Lots of detail, lots of detail. Then you got this kind of, uh, I guess, a pick i don't know what you would call this sheath i don't know his other weapon then you got the head that i showed earlier his uh, unmasked head and it's like a i guess a ball joint to get it put it on top so i'm not going to take the head off right now might try it later but not right now then you got some of the plasma Plasma blast that would be coming out of the hand. 
Then you got, uh, let's see, these are one set of hands, three sets of hands. So you got this one set, and they're like on a swivel as far as the hinge on there, on the wrist. And these two are for holding the weapons. You got the left and the right. Let's see if we get those focused. Yeah, not focused. There you go. Then you got these other sets of hands also with the swivel wrist. Different uh, grasp, you'd say. Let's see if we get those. Yep, focusing. There, and then of course you co it comes with a stand. Record setting action figure. Cool, and then of course this one. It's the Todd McFarlane sign plate. Just put that in front of the figure. Cool little design on the back. Yeah, so let's look at this figure closely. As you can see, uh, the chains, these are real metal chains. You can hear it jingling a little bit. But yep, you got the head. Moves around side to side. Back and forth. Kind of loose, but yeah, and the cape. You put the cape in the design so it's covering them on one side at least or opened up. Got the hands, arms move all around. Let's see. Just got the bend at the elbow. It's kind of stiff right now. And then the wrist, of course, is a ball joint, so it moves all in different positions. Same other arm. Got a little waist bend right there. You can see. Little waist bend right there. Got the knees that bend. Got actually these toes bend also. So you see that looks like a kind of a. I guess I don't know if that's a swivel. Looks like a swivel on the ankle. Might. A little bit of swivel on the ankle. All right, take a closer look. Look at the, got the texture on the cape, got the cape swooshing the one side. Of course it's a plastic, you know, it's not like a, any kind of material that's, uh, that's, uh, I don't know how to say it, but it is plastic. Got the hinges for the cape to bend. The paint on this is great. I mean, it's not just a flat paint. You got a little bit of like detail where it's, uh, uh, you got looks like wear on them So that's cool Let's do a size comparison um, So this one I'm bringing out right now is from series 3 spawn series 3 Get this out of the way So spawn series 3 in comparison side by side this one of course has a fabric cape on it but yeah it's got I guess this was seven inch and I forgot what it said the other the size was seven inch nine inch I believe so look at the comparison side by side definitely a little more detail as far as the paint job um, the facial features but very cool. I love this figure. It's definitely going to be going in my display case. Just to show off. But yeah, that's it. And of course, I didn't show this. Well, you saw it in the background. But this is the comic book it came with. Uh, I believe they came in different colors based on which one you got. Because you could get like a, a classic, a new, new version of Spawn. And then also like the prototype version. But that's a number one spawn number one. It's got the foil on the on the logo. And there it says this action figure is an adult collectible, not intended for children under the age of 14. Not a problem here. And that's cool. And it's in this little slip case where you can pull it out. I'm not gonna do that right now, but yeah, it's a little slip case. Very nice. Very cool indeed. Oh yeah, I've been waiting for this one for a while. 
ordered it back in I think May of 2020. It's finally here, ready for me to display. Uh, yeah, that's it. So uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, if you guys like what uh, how I showed this to you, uh, just leave a thumbs up. Leave comments below what you thought about it, what you thought about the figure. If you if you want to know anything more about this figure, uh, leave it in the comments. I'll try to get back to you on that. Um, besides that, subscribe if you're not subscribed. Hit the bell for notifications. Uh, like I said, leave comments. Check out my Instagram at I Collect a Lot. I have a link in the description below. And I'll talk to you guys again later, probably for another unboxing. All right. Bye.